Hey there everybody, it's your boy Glenn at Diablo Guitars. Today we're going to walk you through the fast and easy process of wax potting your pickups. I've been using these bare knuckle PG Blues that are actually in all my Les Pauls now. And what I've been finding is on louder stages, I'm having to really work to control my guitar more as an unpotted pickup is, you know, got a tendency to squeal a little more. We can get into that later. For now, we're just gonna get into the fast, easy process of safely wax potting your unpotted pickups at home. Cheers, and uh, let's check it out. The first thing you'll need is some of this golf wax. You can get this stuff anywhere and it's very inexpensive. It's easy to find. Each box will have four of these little wax bricks. The other thing you're gonna need is a very small, low temperature crock pot. You can get these for 10 to $20 max. I like to use these because it's a very low temperature and that way you're not gonna risk damaging your pickup with excessive heat. Once the wax melts, it really looks just like water. You'll see me submerging the pickups. That is the melted paraffin wax. It's very watery. Once you submerge your pickups, what you're looking for is little air bubbles. What we're doing literally is forcing the air out of the coils and replacing those air gaps with wax that keeps the coils from moving or vibrating and eliminates the feedback issue. I'll set a timer for about 10 minutes and let them cook. While they're cooking, let's go ahead and talk about, there are people out there that say that beeswax sounds better and works better than paraffin wax. Now, I'm a little bit crazy, so I thought I'd go right to the source to collect my beeswax because I wanted my pickups to sound the best they possibly could, and it didn't end very well for me. What I learned is that bee stings on your upper lip really hurt and that beeswax sounds no different than paraffin wax. You're free to do what you like, but honestly, the paraffin wax is what 99% of the world uses, and trust me, it sounds amazing. All right, circling back, we're about six minutes in. My pickups are submerged in the melted paraffin wax. At this point, I'll just kind of take a look at them, see if I can see little air bubbles coming out. I may or may not give them a stir at this point, we're literally just forcing the air out of the coils and replacing all of that with this liquid paraffin. If you're wondering, paraffin wax melts at 120 degrees. Your bobbins melt at 160 degrees. So I don't recommend using a saucepan. I really recommend one of these low temperature crock pots. It's gonna keep you from doing any damage. You can see here I'm using a chopstick to stir the pickups a bit. Just make sure I'm getting all the air out and I'm sure you've seen there's been air bubbles popping out there that were probably sitting on the base plate, not necessarily in the coils, but I'll just give them a little stir right around the 10 minute mark. Once I've given them a stir and just made sure I've done the best I can here, I usually set a timer for about two minutes and we'll let them cook just a little bit longer. Once your two minutes has passed, Go ahead and remove the pickups from the paraffin wax. When I pick them up, I you know, give them a final shake here, and then I'll let any excess wax drain off the pickup as I remove them. So here they come, I'll just kind of let it dribble a little bit, I'll place it over here on this shop towel. Now these are going to be about 120 degrees, you're not going to badly scald yourself, but you're working with some hot stuff, so be careful. Once I get the pickups laid out on my shop towel, I'll just grab another paper towel or shop towel or whatever's handy and wipe the excess wax off the top of the bobbins. This just gives you a nice clean finished look and the paraffin wax is so watery when melted that it just comes right off. So we'll do this to both pickups. Then oftentimes I'll use something to prop them up if they don't want to sit flat and level. I'll prop them up to keep them level. The odds of wax running out of the bobbins at this point, slim to none, but again, it's so watery that I like to just make sure the pickups are sitting level as they dry. I let them dry for about an hour. Within an hour, they are done. At this point, you can apply your dust tape or covering tape, whatever it is. Again, the bobbins are sealed with tape, but uh, I like to use a thin strip of gaff tape. There's Teflon plumber's tape, any luthier supply place is gonna have pickup wrapping tape that's gonna be very inexpensive. I just use the gaff tape because I always have access to it and it's never given me a problem. 
So I'm just carefully wind the finished pickup. I try and keep good tension on the tape so it's a nice snug wrap as I wrap it around there. And this is just a finishing touch. At this point, your pickup is finished. It's ready to be reinstalled into your guitar. Hope this was fun and educational for you. Look for more content on Diablo Guitar's YouTube channel. We'll see you soon, and thanks for joining us.